many congratulations. A straight set to win, 101 average. You must be really pleased with that. Yeah, I was pleased with it. Also, the way how I played, how I put the pressure on him, and I put really put a. It gave me confidence, and that's the way how you want to do things. And uh, um, I felt comfortable, and I did what I had to do. And we saw how dangerous Richard could be against Kim Hybrid. Did that yeah, start in your focus even of, more of course, but he's a lovely guy to play. He's a lovely man. Yeah. I wish a lot of other players would be exactly like him because he's a he, he's a very polite and nice man. And uh, that makes it also difficult to play against him. Do you know what I mean? So you have to get your other line up in your body and things like that. But more important, I won the game and uh, I was focused. I was I was sharp. To, the will to win was there, and that's what you want. You had the best doubling stats of the tournament in your opening game, 57% tonight. Is that the most pleasing aspect of your performance in the tournament so far? Not only the doubles. I think with Petrus, the triples and the way how I played, it was also really important. And you said on stage after the win that you've come back after the Christmas break with some real energy. Obviously, after a performance like that, you must have so much confidence. Yeah, of course. But that's what you want. That's what you want to do. You want to put the pressure on your opponents. And that's, that's what you have to do. You have to break them. You have to, when you throw good against them, they're going to miss. And that's what you want to do constantly. And in the next round, Florian Hempel or Stephen Bunting, both are playing good dark. Will that bring the best out of you, do you feel? I don't care. Yeah, of course. I, but you have to play well if you want to beat them. Whoever comes on your path, you're not allowed to make any mistakes against anyone. Wherever they come from, if they're German, English, <coughs> I don't care. I have to smash them. Thank you. Michael, congratulations. You said about that, that energy that you've got. Where's that come from? From me. I'm awake now. No, uh, maybe also the way how I play, how I approach games, and then you, you get a uh, chemic. Do you know what I mean? That's what you want to to produce some good darts, and uh, I feel comfortable. And that's what, the way how you want uh, to to go. And of course, there's still a lot to get. But if you keep performing and do what I I'm doing at the moment, I think it's good for darts. When you see a lot of seeds fall in round two, does that keep you sharp as well? Not taking it for granted when other seeds tumble? Um, yes, but I don't care what other people do. It's only a game, it's a lonely game sometimes, but I only want to watch my own appearances and the way how I go forward is quite good and I think there's a lot to get so. In the last few weeks, I've been comparing 16-year-old Luke Littler to 16, 17-year-old you. Do you see the comparisons between the two of you at the same sort of age? Yes and no. I think if you look like talent-wise, and the work, I think I'm slightly better. But the way how we, he doesn't care whoever he plays, and that's why I admire of him. He, he's a big talent player, and, and I, me and Vincent spoke about him. He's got one little thing in the stroke on the end, why I don't really fancy. But for the rest, he can win a lot of tournaments in the future of darts, 100%. Does it feel like a proper tournament now? Do you spoke about that break from your first game into your second one. Does 100%. Feel, does this feel like it's nice now, now, now we're in. Now we're in. I'm going to play uh, in two days or three days' time again, and uh, I'm looking forward to the next one. Michael, many Thank you. Michael, there's been a lot of talk about Luke Littler. Is that good for yourself? That maybe are we going to talk, talk about Luke Littler, everyone, or are we going to talk about the World Championships? <laughs> no, I'm winding up. No, I only get questions about Luke Lingard. Of course, he's a fantastic blob, but he doesn't want. For but you like the fact that maybe there's less attention on you or not? No, no. I, I, I wish everyone gives me attention because when you get attention, it, it's a, it's a pleasure. It's a, it's something good because when they talk about you, it's a good sign. It means you still mean something to the sport. Stephen Bunting or Hempel up next, as you as have said before. Would you prefer Stephen Bunting? I think. Is that oh, uh, uh, Steve, of course, I want Stephen Bunting, but no one knows yet what's going to happen. Uh, the Bogu players, of course, Bunting is going to be favoured in my eyes, but uh, you never know what's going to happen. Uh, I'm going to be ready for anyone. Any particular reason why you prefer Stephen? He's a quicker player, of course, and I, I want to win this tournament by beating the best who comes on my path. That's the way how it is. <laughs> Michael, you mentioned there that you've got people talking about you. Know, we get a lot of people who say they like to go under the radar. Do you think that, that that's a mentality thing? Because they're all poop ants. <laughs> if they want to go under the radar, that's. We, we talked about either Florian Hempel or Stephen Bunting. Yeah. If it is Stephen, we've we heard the reaction we got from the Alexander Palace ground, one of the biggest this week. Are you wary about that, the potential reaction? Me, the me worry about what the crowd does. Yeah. Really? I got more experience than that, don't worry. I don't really care.
played two games on the stage so far, two fantastic games. I've played a lot more on this stage. <laughs> <laughs> but in this tournament, you've yes, been brilliant. But how much Thank more you. is there to see from Michael Van Gogh this year? I don't know, do you know? I think, that, I, I, I think there's more to get, 100%. And I feel comfortable, I feel good, and uh, I'm looking forward. Michael, big well thank you. Thank you. Michael, why have you got such a good record against Stephen Bunton? Why do you manage to do so well against him? I'm a quick player, can... someone I like to play, and that's what you want to do. You know what I mean? Uh, he's a, he's a, a sharp player, he's good, but for some reason he, uh, he also makes mistakes against me, and that's what you want. Do you think you're in his head a little bit, that green shirt? Maybe, that maybe. That you know, right? That's what people want to quit now anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I have to ask but you. He, yeah, of course, but he first has to beat uh, mm. Florian, uh, Florian. Florian, Florian, I think he had a fantastic comeback. Probably, probably one of the best comebacks on this stage ever. And uh, that's good to see as well, also for the German fans. But uh, for me personally, I want to play with Steven. You've had Christmas with the family? No, no, I, won, I, no I didn't have Christmas. Oh, yeah. I had the 23rd, I was one day with my family. And the 24th <coughs> in the evening, I was 24th in the, during the daytime, I was practicing with Vince van der Voort. My friend, he came to me. Evening, I had some food, relaxing, and I travelled over on the 25th. Is that because you're determined to win this? Or is that, that's but that's, that's my routine, that's the way how I approach games, and I wouldn't change of it. Does the tournament start now? Sort of after Christmas, no, it, changed, it started two weeks ago, but for, for me, uh, of course, now we're going to get more progression in it, of course, but that's the World Championship, it's going to take three long weeks and you have to be prepared for any circumstances. Can you give any advice to Luke Littolo, or does he just think he's learning on the spot what he's doing? Yeah, days? keep doing what he does, do you know what I mean? Keep, keep eating the burgers and the chips and uh, <laughs> no no yeah. now we now I'm winding up. He's he's such a, he's such a talent. He's yeah. a, he's a, he's a fantastic dart player and he's gonna win a lot of tournaments in the PDC uh, in, in PDC darts if he keeps his feet on the floor and but more important now he needs the right people around him. Yeah. He doesn't have at the moment but you never know. Is that why you succeeded so young? Because you had the no no I, you, you have to sometimes you have to learn it the hard way to learn to get a better player. You can't compare my time, Phil's time, Luke Litter's time, with each other. It's all different. Was it the Norway Open that you won when you were 16? Yeah, correct. Cool. Did you think, I've made it now, I'm a star, I'm going to no, be huge, or did no. you keep your feet in the ground? Yeah, they're different. I, I paid for every tournament myself. Wherever I won, I invested myself. It's totally different.